JavaScript algos and data structures on free code camp. We are in basic JavaScript on challenge 93. So today we're going to access nested arrays. Uh, so basically what this is saying is like in the previous example, we can access nested objects within other objects. Um, this is going to be similar with bracket notation to accessing nested arrays. So you can have uh, multiple arrays within them, within other arrays. And this is how you access the, the sub arrays. So uh, here we have an example, our pets, it is an array and we have an object within it that is the zeroth index of that array. And then we have another object within it at the first index. So if we wanted this uh, name fluffy here, we would simply access our pets. So we're in our pets, we have all this data at the zeroth index. So our pets array, right here and the zero with index is the first object so it would be this one and then we are accessing names which is an array so now we're accessing this names array and at the first index so zero one so we would be accessing the fluffy there and then same thing with this uh, second object if we wanted the spot name we could access our pets so our pets and then we would access this whole array and then we want the first object, meaning the first index. So zero, this is zero, one. So we have this whole object now. And then we want the dot names array. So now we have this array. And then we want the zeroth index spot. All right, so that's all we're gonna do for this challenge here. It looks like we're going to use dot and bracket notation to set the variable second tree to the second item in the trees list of my plants. So the second item in the trees list from my plants object. Okay. Second item in the trees list. Okay, so all we're gonna do here is set the second item pine to the second tree constant, which is basically a variable. So we're gonna access my plants all right, now we have this entire array. We don't want the first object in it. We want the second one. So that's the zeroth one. So we started zero and now we're at the one. So one. So now if we console.log second tree, we should see that we have the entire second object here. And then we need to access the trees uh, property within it trees the list within it. So one, and then we do dot list. So now we're accessing this list property and that is an array as we can see here. So we want the second object within it. So array at index one, which is pine. So the first one would be fur and then the second one would be pine, meaning the zero with would be fur, the first would be pine in terms of indexes. That's all we should have to do for that one. I hope that made sense. Uh, main thing here to remember is array indexes start at zero. So you count. If you're counting, just subtract one from it and that'll give you the right index. And um, we can use dot and bracket notation chained together to access different var variables. All right, hope that helped. See you guys in the next one.